Lecture number uh, six, development of geriatric food products. Plan of the lecture, introduction, creation of meat-based geriatric dietary products, principles of formation of food quality for geriatric nutrition. The average life uh, expe uh, expectancy in Kazakhstan today has increased by one and a half years and amounted to 73 years. According to UN forecast, by 2025, the number of this age group on the entire planet will be about 1 billion people, which indicates a sharp aging of the population and the emergence of a problem of maintaining health activity and the longevity for elderly and old people. It is possible to improve health and ensure the stability of the physiological and the meta um, metabolic status of the elderly by eating gyro dietary foods. Such products contribute to the correction of various uh, deficiency of biologically active substances in the body of an elderly person, and in some cases play the role of replacement therapy. The range of gerodietic products produced by domestic food industry enterprises is currently not complete enough and it is price range is not designed for such a socially unprotected population group as the elderly uh, people. The developed technologies for the production of food products do not take into account the specifics of the nutrition of people of this social uh, state and the quality of products doesn't always meet the needs of an aging organism. Meanwhile, domestic scientists see great prospects in the creation and production of a new group of specialized products intended for gerodietary nutrition, which allows stopping age-dependent pathologies. The meat industry has great opportunities for mastering the production of such products. Creation of meat-based gyro dietary products. One of the topical direction in the creation of meat-based gyro dietary products is the use of vegetable raw materials, a source of number of nutrients such as vitamins, minerals, fiber, antioxidants, which have a beneficial effect on the activation of physiological process in the body of an elderly person. At the same time, it is preferable to use vegetable raw materials of the region where a person life lives since it contains various biologically active compounds that are clothed in geo and biochemical composition to the human body. Age is a complex of change in the body as a result of action of the factor. The main process during aging are decrease in activity of renewal of living matter structures, weakening of assimilation process and predominance of dissimulation processes, violation of the processes of adaptation of the body to environmental conditions, decrease in the matter activity of muscular walls of digestive tract, which leads to develop of constipation, Decrease in the acidity of gastric juice, which contributes to the development of putrefactive microorganism and increased load on the liver. A decrease in the outflow of bile along while a weakening of the excretory function of the intestine and a decrease in the redox processes leads to a retention of cholesterol in the body and the development of atherosclerosis.
the appeal of scientists to the issues of organizing keratotic nutrition is caused by the desire and necessity of extending the creative longevity and working capacity of many millions of people. Special food products are not a medicine, but they contribute to the improvement of the human body by preventing and protecting the body from a number of diseases to which there is a certain predisposition. These are osteoporosis, cardiovascular, gastrointestinal and other diseases. The body of an elderly person has its own characteristic of functioning and certain needs for nutrients. An analysis of literature source in this area indicates that the human body of elderly and senile age need not only a given amount of nutrients, but also a certain ratio of them. It should be noted that the fats in the actual diet should consist of animal and vegetable. As sources of lipids, the diet should include products containing, in addition to triglycerides, lipotropic substances, of the total amount of fat, one part of three should be vegetable oils in the in their natural form. That is source of linoleic acid, tocopherols, but it is not advisable to significantly increase the proportion of vegetable fat in the diet. as this can complicate the process of digestion and utilization of fat, as well as have a possible negative effect on the thyroid gland whose function is weakened in old age. It is necessary to include butter in the menu, which also it contains cholesterol, is a source of lecithin protein complexes that have lipotropic and anti-sclerotic effects. You shouldn't increase the consumption of fats due to the fact that they significantly increase the energy value of the diet impede the activity of a digestive system, contribute to the development of atherosclerosis and increase blood clotting. Therefore, it is important to observe, especially during dinner, the consumption of fats, which are source of saturated fatty acids. Proteins and especially their qualitative composi composition are very important in the nutrition of a person of any age. Due to the weakening of assimilatory processes, all the people need a sufficient amount of proteins, so the norm of these nutrients should remain high and be one uh, gram per kilogram of a body weight. About 60% of the daily protein requirement is recommended to be met by animal products. Protein sources should be primarily dairy products with the exception of spicy cheeses, especially those rich in uh, vasoconstrictive uh, amines. From meat products, you should use lean beef, chicken, rabbit meat, boiled fish. Awful eggs should be consumed in a limited way as they are rich uh, in nucleic acids that are not extracted into the pros and also contain cholesterol. Smoked fish and sausages should be excluded from the menu. 
It should be borne in mind that with a decrease in comparison with the norm of the protein content in the diet of, of the elderly, the body resistance to infection decreases and the nitrogen balance is disturbed. At the same time, excess protein increases the load uh, on the liver, heart, and kidneys. The main source of energy for elderly and senile age are carbohydrates. Depending on their participation in metabolism, carbohydrates can be conditionally divided into digestible and indigestible. For the elderly, it is very important to observe the recommended ratios of starch sources and easily digestible oligo and monosaccharides, especially sugar. They shouldn't be consumed more than 35-50 grams per day, and this dose should be split into three or four times. It is necessary to limit the consumption of confectionery, sweet juices rich in easily digestible carbohydrates. It is most advisable to include juices with pulp in the diet. As sources of starch, you can use cereals and flour products that also contain ballast substances, for example, buckwheat, oatmeal, wholemeal bread. Available source of carbohydrates in the diet of the elderly are vegetables, fruit, berries in raw, baked or boiled form, since they also contain a number of components that stimulate metabolism and uh, counteract the accumulation of cholesterol in tissues. Some scientists believe that the ratio between the main nutrients in the diet of the elderly should be 1 to 0 0.9 to 3.5 protein, fats, carbohydrates. Principles of formation of food quality for dietary, dietary, uh, Gero dietary nutrition, an effective and cost effective way to radically improve the provision for elderly population with high quality, biologically complete and safe products with certain functional properties is the regular inclusion of these products enriched with functional ingredients in the diet. Along with the organization of a complete rational and safe nutrition for the elderly, an important role should be given to food products of therapeutic and preventive action. This is because, firstly, in the nutrition of the population of the economically developed countries of the world, industrial products that have undergone rigorous technological processing have recently been widely used. As a result, they particularly lack natural, biologically active substances. Secondly, recently in many countries, including Kazakhstan, the structure of nutrition of the population has significantly deteriorated. Thus, compared with 2000, the consumption of the most biologically valuable products decreased. Meat and meat products, fish and fish products, milk and the dairy products by an average of 25-28%, and vegetable oil, fruits and berries even more degree. The result of products by an average uh, the result of this change in nutrition is the formation in the body of deficiency of vital biologically active nutrients. And thirdly, global pollution of service and waters and land lead to food contamination with toxic elements, pesticides, antibiotics, radionuclides, which weaken the body defense, which also contributes to the growth of negative trends in the state of public health.
The usual diet, even if it is complete with the norm, doesn't always provide a person with the necessary amount of vitamins and other nutrients for human health, especially in old age. Not only the nutritional value, but also its preventive function has become extremely important. Modern trends in the development of the food industry are focused on the production for so-called healthy, functional food, low-calorie, high in vitamins, minerals, protective properties, including gerodietic direction. In this case, special attention should be paid to the creation of products with anti-stress, adaptogenic, tonic, stimulating and uh, radioprotective properties. Increasingly widespread should be production uh, of food and drinks, including complexes of biotic components, bifidobacteria, lactobacilli, dietary fiber, dietary supplements of plant origin, missing trace elements, and vitamins. These components for the human body are considered as a source of nutrients, body weight regulators, regulators of uh, intestinal micro biosynthesis, antioxidants, regulators of cholesterol metabolism, normalizers of the function of the nervous system, immunomodulators, stimulators of the function of internal organs, improving the functioning of the brain, Activing uh, peripheral blood circulation, promoting the removal of metabolic products and foreign components from the body. And to conclude our lecture, food is, is a complex containing many procedures of biologically active substances from which new ones are created in the body, hormones, transmitters, enzymes, biomolecules, subcellular uh, organ organelles, and the uh, cytoplasmic membranes, that is the structural elements of the living body. In terms of the content of these dietary supplements, such traditional mass consumption foodstuffs as bakery, dairy, meat, and sausage products are especially important, which make it possible to fully solve the problem of proposal, obtaining of nutrients and protective factors. Modern provisions of uh, physiology and uh, biochemistry of nutrition indicate the need for new approaches to the creation of multifunctional gerodietary products that meet the requirement of food hygiene and eliminate harmful effects on the body. Here you found references and thank you for your attention.